Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're gonna study bar graphs and pictographs. And first of all I have a pictograph. That means a graph where we use some kind of a picture. And this time it is a picture of a book. And this is showing us how many books are there in a certain library for history and math and science and geography. And a pictograph always has to have a legend here that tells us that how many this picture means. This time one picture of a book means 30 books. So for geography we do not have just four books in the library. We actually have 30 and 30 and 30 and 30 books. Okay, I have a question here actually. How many geography books are there? So let's solve that first. How many geography books are there if each book is 30? If each symbol or picture is 30? Think of it this way. 30 and 30, how much is that? That's easy. These two are 60, right? And these two are 62. And now add 60 plus 60. 120. I'll write that number here too, because we're going to use it later, but I'll put it here too. How many more history books are there than math books? How many more history books than math books? Okay, in a pictograph, I don't actually have to find how many math books and how many history books if it is asking how many more, okay? This is asking how many more books. I can just look at these. How many more symbols are there for the history books than for math books? It is these three. That's how many more books there are for history than math, right? So that's my answer. Those three pictures mean how many books? These three pictures mean 30, 30, 30 or 90. 90 books. Okay, and then lastly, how many geography and science books are there in total? How many geography and science books are there in total? We already solved how many geography books there are. Now when you look at the science books, there's just one picture more, right? Than geography, okay? Just one picture more. So, to figure out how many science books there are, I just take this 120 and add 30, right? One picture means 30. 120 plus 30 makes 150. And now to solve this question here, how many geography and science books together, or in total? So I need to add these two numbers. 150, 120. It would make 270. Yes, 270. What's that, Matthew? Uh -huh. Yeah, he thinks this library needs more math books. Maybe so. How are we going to get that? Ah, okay. Go ahead, Matthew. Go ahead. Make some more uh, math books. Look, we're going to get more math books for this library. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now there's more math books than anything else. Happy, Matthew? <laughs> Let's go on. Matthew checked the price of a certain washer, washing machine, in four different stores. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. If you're going to buy an expensive washer, you want to check the price and so on and find where it might be the cheapest. And here are the prices that he found in four different stores. Our task is to draw a bar graph now. And we have here an axis going up and these numbers are the dollar amount. In store one, the washer costs $500. So I need to now draw here a rectangle that goes up to 500, kind of like this. So let me draw here. It has to be that high. There. Store two, $470. Okay, but I don't have $470 here. So what do I do now? This mark here is for the halfway point between 400 and 500. So that would be 450, right? 470 is just a tad more than that, somewhere there. So, try to put it somewhere there. 
And then we have 560. Again, over here is the halfway point. That would be 550. And that is just a tad more than 550. So maybe somewhere there. And lastly, 580. 580 is close to 600, right? So maybe somewhere there. And here is the bar graph all done. Now you can see how, okay, this is the most expensive one, but it's just a little bit more expensive than that one. And this is the cheapest. What is the price difference between the most expensive and the least expensive washer? What is the price difference between certain two washers? Okay, difference. Difference or how far apart are these two numbers? The most expensive. Where's that one? Which one is the most expensive? This one here, right? It costs 580. And the least expensive is the cheapest one. So that's this one. And what is the price difference? What is the difference of 470 and 580? Okay. From 470, if you jump 100 more, you would be at 570. You would be almost here. But you need to jump 10 units more or ten dollars, whatever, to get to 580. So we go 110 more, right, to get to 580. That's the difference. The difference is 110 dollars. I hope you followed that. We're all done with this lesson now.